Draining the water accumulated in the fuel tanks requires the operation of water drain valves. If possible, do the water drain procedure before refueling. Otherwise, wait for one hour after refueling has been completed. The water drain valves are located at the lowest points of tanks or cells. Each wing is equipped with one water drain valve for the surge vent tank, one water drain valve for the outer fuel tank. Five water drain valves are necessary to drain the two sections of the inner tank, forward and aft, and their collector cells. One outboard, rib four. One for collector cell, one or four. One for collector cell two or three. Between ribs one and two, one aft, one forward. To get access to the two water drain valves of the center tank, it is necessary to open a special panel on each side of the fuselage. On the THS, a water drain valve is located on the right-hand side to drain the vent surge tank. Two valves are used to drain the center section of the trim tank, one on each side. For the operation, push the center of the application water drain valve with the water drain purger. Drain the fuel from the valve. Note that for the trim tank, a suction pump is necessary if its fuel level is less than 1,000 kilograms. When the equipment is removed, Examine the drain valve for leaks. This procedure should be applied to all water drain valves. To drain the water accumulated in the fuel air separator, it is necessary to operate its drain valve while the forward APU pump is running. From the platform, open the access panel 311 AL Remove the cap from the drain valve and install the adapter. Drain between 8 and 10 litres of fuel into a container. When the equipment is removed, do a check for no fuel leaks and then do the close-up procedure.
The fuel water sample has been put into a transparent glass container. Let the sample become stable before examining for water contamination. The best way is to use a hydro kit. The syringe allows a small quantity to be drawn. If the pellet changes color, water is in the fuel. So, Drain the aircraft fuel until no water is present. No change in color, fuel is good. It is recommended to analyze the fuel from the tanker for water contamination before refueling.